The Godolphin team had an unforgettable derby weekend when they had three grade one winners at Churchill Downs, including their first ever victory in the Kentucky Oaks. The dams of each of these talented performers each had their own unique path to the Godolphin Broodmare Band, so we sat down with Michael Banahan to learn more. To have a domestic triple grade one weekend, uh, I don't think we've had that before. We knew we had a lot of nice horses ready to sh showcase themselves on Derby weekend, and but it just went, it couldn't have gone any more perfect than it did, so. Uh, but our expectations were pretty high as well, but we know the way the game goes. You know, we've been fortunate enough uh, that we got the opportunity and given the green light to buy a couple of mares at the Faisal Tipton November sale. She was a high profile mare, pre-seed uh, pre dancer. She was grade one winning two-year-old, um, tap it mare, you know, half to a really good runner, Lear's Princess. So, you know, our expectations were high, obviously with a, a very valuable mare um, and an expensive mare buying like that, and you never know which way they're gonna work out, but uh, by the quality of our stock on the ground, we were, we were pretty excited about what we saw. Our pretty mischievous was our second fall, and then we have a really nice uh, street sense uh, on the ground as well, and she's had nothing but filly so far, so uh, hopefully maybe we get a colt next year and get a full to uh, full brother to pretty mischievous would be pretty nice. So we bought a uh, dance card as a two-year-old uh, down in Florida, and at that time we, we did buy a few two-year-olds, not many, but we bought a few. And she was a good race mare, Kieran McLaughlin trained her, and uh, she uh, hit at the highest level in the Gazelle, when the Gazelle was a grade one. She came up with some ex really nice folds in her first few uh, folds on the ground. But uh, Cody's wish was, by far her best looking fall that she produced at that stage. It's what you know the dreams are made of. And when, when we do obviously go out and try and buy these horses, we have expectations of them as a racehorse and as a filly to come back into the Broodmare Band. Dance Card has a, a filly by a Gunrunner this year who is a nice type of fall coming in behind her. She's a really nice uh, street sense yearling that we're, that we're high on as well. We'll hopefully have some more really nice uh, uh, progeny on the racetrack down the road. Innovative idea is the Dama Matarea, um, and she's a lovely young mare. And to me, it is the family that keeps on giving to us. Uh, we bought the Grand Dame Caress uh, years ago from John Williams. With Matarea, she's a you know second fall out of Innovative Idea. Innovative Idea was a, a, a really nice race mare for us. Well, Owen Harty trained her and won the Groupie Doll at Ellis Park. With you know the dam that we raced to a graded level, with a family that we we have had for quite a while, uh, with multiple stakes winners in there. We really like to cultivate that and um, try and get the best racehorses we can out of the family as well, but to get it from a homebred as well is extra special. So Innovative Idea has um, a fold by Curlin this year and is being bred back again. We've high hopes for her. She's a, she's a really nice filly as well. The thing that they all have in common, be it Innovative Idea, uh, Pretty City Dancer and Dance Card, they're all good race mares. And I think that's a quality that we love to have in, in any of the broodmares we have, that they've been set successful on the racetrack. You know, we've been very fortunate that we have some beautiful land, some of the best land in the we feel in uh, central Kentucky. And we've had really good racehorses raised on our farms. And I think the personnel that we have are second to none. Uh, they do a wonderful job. So we're very fortunate at the moment and uh, hopefully maybe we can turn one of those mares into a blue hen.